Hello guys, it is Ben here from Next Gen Base, and this morning, a curious little icon popped up on the PlayStation 4, uh, which is called PS5 Remote Play. Um, so I thought I'd give this a quick look and just give you a quick tutorial on how to get this set up. So if you load up the PS5 Remote Play app, it will say link in your PS5, connect into your PS5, um, but then you'll get this message, so it'll say cannot connect your PS5. So what we need to do um, when you have your PlayStation 5 is uh, go up to settings here in the menu, um, then scroll down to system settings, in there, scroll down to Remote Play, turn that on, and then if you click Link Device, you will get a code, but because your PlayStation Network account is linked to your PS4 and your PS5, you won't need to uh, to take that code. So go back to PS4, hit PS5 Remote Play, and it gets started up. Then we hit Connect to the device, so in this instance it would be my PS5. Uh, connecting to your PS5, so checking the network, and there we go. So we're now on the PlayStation 5 uh, via Remote Play. And essentially, yeah, you can browse your PS5 as you'd need to, um, go into whatever games you want to do. So I thought I'd uh, just quickly jump into Spider-Man Miles Morales and, you know, give it a go. Not done too much gameplay um, because, you know, it's it's just kind of a quick demo to see it working, but um, it's fine. Um, it, it doesn't feel like there's any major latency with anything. Um, it looks a little bit compressed, uh, you know. That's that's going to be fairly obvious due to uh, the fact that it's it's streaming over the over the network. But um, you know, it's not going to look like ultra crispy, ultra 4K, and you know everything else. But uh, it gets you to the game, and you can play it on another TV if you want to. So uh, while this is going on, um, I thought to myself, you know, what what happens when you uh, when you hit the PlayStation button? So continuing the game here, this is basically starting up a new save. Um, which we were doing for review purposes, but uh, when you've started up the game, if you hit the PlayStation button, you will get a little menu pops up that says, uh, you know, what do you want to control, um, which we're going to do in just a second. There we go. So you'll get your control center, you get your home, you can get mute or disconnect. So uh, if you hit the control center, it will just bring up the PS5's control center. Um, you can go to your PS5 home or your PS4 home. Um, but you can also hit disconnect. Now disconnect this time round gives you a nice little option to actually put the machine to sleep. So if you're remote playing, you don't have to uh, go through the menus and all that uh, to, to actually turn it uh, turn the PlayStation 5 off. So there we go. That's a very whistle stop tour of the new PS5 remote play app on the PlayStation 4. Um, if you have enjoyed it, do uh, drop us a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, guys, take care. Bye bye.